And hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ryan of the Free Ryans here, and we are back to playing Paranoiac with that eerie clock ticking away. Oh my god. Alright then. So where we last um when we last left our hero Mika, I rage quitted. Because she thought that Sid the zombie, that was clearly a zombie with no legs, was a stray dog. So now we're um, on the next day, I suppose, where it's daylight now, and we've got ourselves a key that we found last night, and we're going to find the place to put it in. So, is it going there? No. Is it going there? No. Is it going there? No. Is it going... Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, this key, it fits here. All right, get in. Okay... Expired face lotions. Shouldn't use these. A brand necklace. Who cares? Not me. And I'm getting bony. I need to eat more. There's no brand clothes, but I do like a lot of these. A large dresser. Hmm? In the drawer, a note. All beautiful things are fake. Beauty is there to hide something. A pretty blue. Pink, kind of gaudy, not my preference. It's old, but nice colour. I might wear this later. A lot of mirrors in this room. Is this our dressing room? It's empty. Just double checking. Okay. Just double checking everything. A brand necklace, who cares? Not me. Alright. Expensive looking cosmetics. I'm getting all bony. I'll stress her in the drawer. All beautiful things are fake. Beauty is there to hide something. Right, so... What's that? What is there to search for? Hmm. Pretty blue. Not my preference. And I might wear this later. There's a note in the drawer. All beautiful things. Okay. Is there anything... Oh, hang on. The large dresser. Oh, no, not the dresser. It's here. They're not, they're not brand clothes, but I do like a lot of these. Is that it? That's a bit anticlimactic, this room. Okay. Okay, then. Um, where do we go next, people? Oh wait, there's an oh yeah, wait, hang on. Oh, that jolted me a bit. Why is the phone so loud? Pick up the flipping phone. It's Takamura. Who is this? Ah, Miss Takamura. This is Hayakawa. Yeah, sorry for any mispronunciation I might do. How How's your condition? No real progress, but it's not getting worse either. I see, I see. Ah, so you moved, did you not? I've been in the area before. It's a very nice, quiet place. You should be... it should be a good place to relax. By the way, I talked with the editor about the binding. I'll fi I'll fax it to you tonight. Okay. Please do. Bye then. He sure sounds at ease. Wish I could be too. But I'm writing romance novels I don't want to write. Ah. Wait. Don't. Wait. Who are you? You're not Stephanie Mayer, are you? Okay, let's um, let's check out here. I wanna specifically here. Now we have a safe, a large safe. The password is. Whoops. Password is. Hey, I got it right. 
Okay, a key. Why was this in the safe? I knew it. Okay, so we got ourselves another key. That's that's all fine and good and all, but hang on, that one's locked. Oops! Oh, go up the stairs, woman. Okay, that door's locked. That door's locked. Oh yeah, that one's open. I open that one. Okay, so. And that one's locked as well, right. There is a door over here that was locked, I believe. Seems this key is for here. Aha! Get in then. Oh, it's a nice little computer, nice little computer room. Lots of CDs and DVDs, plenty of love stories and dramas, CDRs and such. Okay. There are some half drank water bottles. Computer my aunt apparently used. It's locked with a password, which is. No. Nah. Don't know what that password is. What do I? No. Nah. And this is a random TV. Plenty of love stories and dramas. Lots of CDs. Anything else in here? Um, that's CDs and such. A four, four letter or four numbered password. I don't believe I have yet. Okay, um, do I do anything with this TV? I seem to be doing nothing with that TV. Okay, so, hmm, do I go in here? It's locked. Could have swore I heard something then. I don't know what. Seriously, ah, it, it, I'm either hearing things or I heard something. Do I go back to have a look if anything's changed? No. Okay. I go back over here. What do I do? Hmm. A bit lost. Do I have a little walk around in the garden to check if there isn't any stray dogs? Oh yeah. That damn crow. Alright. Um. Well, I'm lost. I have no idea what I'm doing now. I'll go back to eating dinner. Is that even an option? Wait. Who cleared away all of my food? Or was it me? I have no idea of what I'm doing anymore. Okay! Okay, I know what to do now. I don't, I, I don't know what exactly to do, but um, I'm going on a hunch on something. Right, um... Some pretty flowers. Huh? Actually, these are artificial. Dig them out. Dig them out. Let's get this story underway. I want to know what happens. There's going to be a hand buried underneath there or something. Why is the... Yeah, why did you bury a key? A key? Auntie, why did you bury this here? God damn it. What is it with everyone and burying stuff? Right. Back in we go. Right. We know for a fact that... No, nope, that door's still locked. God damn it. Um, we're going here. Let's go here. Nope, that one doesn't open. Okay then, let's go all the way over here then. Oh wait, wait a minute, what am I doing? There's three other doors over here that need unlocking. That door's locked, so we don't know what's in there. Hey! This key is for this room. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got chairs and such in here. What is this room? Old living supplies. Shelves and such. Why are these here? A another key! Hey, Keys galore! Better save my game. <laughs> and anything? No? Nothing at all? Are you sure? I'm clicking everything here. Stock of detergent and cleaning supplies. Stock of detergent and cleaning. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, cooking tools. Brooms and dustpan. So basically, this is a this is a potential room for me to just hide in. Um, does it go in this one? No, it does not go in that one. Who is it? What the she? Out a person. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Is this Miss Miki Takamura's house? Uh. Hush, phone. Shush. 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 Silence. There we go. Uh, yes. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I'm Shinji Mura from across the M street. It seems they misdelivered your luggage to me. Oh, uh, sorry to trouble you. Well, I've already stamped for it. I thought you said I already stamped on it. I was, was going to say, that's nice. Well, I already stamped for it. The delivery person didn't even seem to notice. The sludge is rather heavy. If you'd let me in, I'd carry it for you. Yeah, we all see where this is going. <laughs> no, uh, no, you shouldn't. I can carry it myself. Please, don't worry about me. I'm used to physical labour. Don't trust him! Don't trust him! <laughs> well... All right. No, don't trust him. Oh God, we got a load of boxes. There we go. I can just put it here. Yes. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I wish I could thank you. Oh God. <laughs> How about some tea? Oh, thank God. How about some tea? You'd do that for me. Very well then. Do I move? Oh, no. Game's progressing the way... So you're a writer, uh, Miss Takamura. That's amazing. I'm not that great. I'd like to write real literature, but... I have no talent. I can only write these stupid romance novels. Yeah, you know, with sparkly vampires and... <laughs> Now, don't say that. I can respect anyone who makes a living from writing. So, what are you doing here? It's for a lot of reasons, but mainly for recuperation. Recuperation? You mean from an illness? Yes, but it's not a serious one. I knew the house's previous owner. And it's empty, so I'm living here. Are you referring to Miss Saeki? Saeki. Miss Saeki. Uh, you knew her. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce them! You knew her? Yes, uh, she was my aunt. She passed away. She She's passed away now. Ah, I'm sorry for your loss. But you're Miss Saeki's niece? You don't look much like her. Really? My relatives always said I did. Ah, um, well. Miss Saeki was um, rather older, you see. How old was she? Don't get the um, wrong idea, but she would 
scream oddly and wander at night. She was quite well known here. I see. She was mentally ill. I'm sorry on her behalf. Oh, that's okay. What? Screaming and wandering about in the middle of the night. And, oh, yeah, clearly mentally ill. You were chased by a zombie! Can you put two to two together? Ah. Oh. No, no. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I should be going now. Uh, thank you for the tea. I'm on leave for an injured arm, so I have time on my hands, in a way. Call me if you need anything. It may be hard for a young woman to live alone in these parts, uh, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Besides from Sid the Zombie. Well, you're right. I'm not used to it. I might ask you if I need any help, but thanks for your concern. Well, I better hit the old road. He seems friend. He seemed friendly. Yeah, I still don't trust him. <laughs> I'll sort out that luggage now. Okay, we're teleporting. Oh dear, it looks very dark now. That sure took a while. It's gotten so late. I'll take a shower and sleep. We're teleporting again. Ticking stopped. Oh, for flip's sake! Uh, who is this at this? Who is it at this hour? Ah, it's Mr. Hayakawa, isn't it? He shouldn't call this late. And we're teleporting again. You love teleporting, don't you? Day two. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode right here. If you like what you've seen here, hit that little subscribe button and I'll be sure to come back to you soon. I hope you all have a pleasant day and I hope you all have a good night. Bye-bye.